Welcome back to The Horror of the Horror with your hostess with the mostess, Jennifer as always. Welcome back, welcome back. So I've got a quick little haul today to do, um, mainly a Target haul, and then when I got home from work today, I actually had a, uh, a package from, uh, Tony has, Tony has Nine Fingers. Uh, real quick though, before I get into what movies I have, I, I do have to do a quick shout out to uh, one of my team leads at work, uh, my team lead of produce, uh, Brian. Uh, I've been meaning to give him a shout out for a while now. I keep forgetting. Uh, he reminded me today. I promised I'd give him a quick little shout out. So Brian, this is for you all the way, dude. Um, so back to my haul. Like I said, um, when I got back from uh, back home to whoa, 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 whoa. slow it down, Jenna. Uh, when I got home from work today, I had a package from, like I said, Tony Has Nine Fingers. Uh, go check him out if you guys have not seen him. I'll try and uh, leave uh, his channel name or description down below. Um, but he actually had a giveaway a couple of weeks ago. I entered, and I actually won. Um, so, Tony, thank you so much uh, for obviously doing the giveaway and everything. Uh, thank you for the movie you sent, and also thank you for uh, giving me a heads up, because I totally had missed the uh, video that he did um, the announcing the winner. So thank you so much for letting me know that I won. Uh, so that movie that he uh, was giving away was actually the Horror Pack free gift that if you had signed up for a year, uh, which is the uh, Pet Cemetery, um documentary, Unearthed and Untold. The path to Pet Cemetery, so I'm really excited to see this. Uh, I wanted to, I wanted to buy it. Uh, I almost actually bought it uh, from Horror Packs. I know they're selling it for thirty bucks, so now I have it. Didn't have to spend thirty bucks on it, so you saved me thirty bucks. Uh, I might actually pop this in tonight. I think I might because I really, I really love horror. Or, uh, obviously, I love horror movies, but I really love documentaries too as well. Uh, so I'm really, really excited about that. Uh, so now on to my little Target haul. Uh, now, this was actually a pretty inexpensive uh, Target haul. We had a couple of, like, inexpensive movies that I was like, you know what? I'm going to uh, go ahead and pick these up. Um, literally, the most expensive one that we had, or uh, the one, most expensive one that I purchased was $9.99, and that is the first season of Wonder Woman. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but like when this was on when I was a kid, it was obviously in reruns re and syndication. But honestly, like when I was watching this as a kid, I would literally spin around my living room going, Wonder Woman! Wonder Woman! I literally wanted to be Wonder Woman. Uh, I wanted to be Linda Carter as a kid. I still want to be Wonder Woman. I love Wonder Woman. So I'm really excited. Like I said, first season there. Um... Uh, let's look at the uh, bonuses, the extras, because I didn't even look at them. Um, so we have pilot movie commentary by Linda Carter and executive and executive producer Douglas S. Kramer. New documentary, Beauty, Brawn, and Bulletproof Bracelets, a Wonder Woman retrospective. Okay, so I didn't even realize. Uh, I didn't look to see uh, what the special features were. Honestly, I've been eyeing this thing for the last two months, and I finally caved in. I was like, why not? Why not? So yeah, that was, uh, like I said, that was the most expensive one at $9.99. Um, next one up um, is Pee-wee's Big Adventure. Now, this one was uh, $5, so I am super stoked. This was one of my favorites growing up as a kid. I still love this movie. It's been ages and ages since I've watched this movie. Um, and, like, some of the stuff in here was a little creepy. Um, like the, uh, he was in the truck with, what was her name? Big Marge or whatever? Oh, the little claymation, like, oh, that always kind of freaked me out as a kid. But I love it. I love it. Um, let's see, we got some commentaries by Paul Rubens and director Tim Burton. I always forget that Tim Burton uh, did this film. I always forget that. Uh, but it's a very Tim Burton-y movie. So um, additional scenes, production um, sketches and storyboards, music-only tracks with commentary by Danny Elfman, production notes, and theatrical trailer. So cool, cool, cool. Like I said, one of my favorites, I know uh, quite a few of you out there are probably... Um, Okay, so I want you guys to see that. Uh, I have, I literally just took it out of the uh, slip. 
So if I need to return to this, uh, Target, I have proof this was already slid open. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Just saying. I know our policy. If it's open, same item only. It's exchange. Just saying. Uh, next one up, we have a double feature. Um, and that is the Grumpy Old Men collection. Uh, Grumpy Old Men and Grumpier Old Men. Uh, I honestly, when I first, uh, like, when these first came out as a kid, like, the first one came out, I was like, oh, stupid movie. Eh. And I actually, uh, I really didn't watch the first one, but then I saw the second one um, at my next door neighbor's godmother's house down in Arizona. Like, they had rented that movie, and I watched the second one. I was like, oh, my God, it's hilarious. It's actually funny. And then I got into the first one. Um so, yeah, I mean, Jack Lemmon and Walter Matthau, oh, my God. Comedy geniuses. They've been in so many great things. Um, but, yeah, I don't think this one has special features. I don't know. No. Theatrical trailers and stuff, but that's about it. But whatever. I'm not going to be stingy about it. Uh, and this one actually was the cheapest at $4, so you figure 2 bucks a movie. I'm game for that. Right? Right? All right, uh, and then next one, actually last one up, uh, this was another $5 movie, and that is Million Dollar Baby. I like this movie. I like some sports movies. I'll be honest, I'm not the biggest sports person, but this is a good movie. I like this. Uh, nice, like, strong, tough chick, go for it movie. Uh, sad ending and stuff. I don't want to spoil the ending if no one's ever seen it. I know it's been out for, like, ever now, but, ah, Tugs at heart. Uh, this is another one I haven't seen in a while, but I remember seeing this in the movie theater with, I think, both my parents and one of my sisters. But yeah, it's a great movie. If you guys have not seen this, even if you're not a big sports person like me, this is a good one. This is a good one. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, doesn't look like any special features, but whatever. I'm not going to be stingy about it, you know, you know. But yeah, so those are my... Um, my haul slash giveaway uh, from Tony has nine fingers. Uh, I wonder if he really does have nine fingers. I don't know. I'd be curious to know. So let's go real quick over what we have. We have the Pet Cemetery documentary. We have Pee Wee's Big Adventure. We have our first season of Wonder Woman, Wonder Woman. Sorry, I know that's annoying. I can't sing. That's why I do this stuff. Um, double feature, Grumpy Old Men, Grumpier Old Men 2. Or Grumpier Old Men 2. Grumpier Old Men. Well, there's no two in it. Um, and then last but not least, Million Dollar Baby. So I hope you guys enjoyed my little uh, haul there. Uh, let me know uh, what do you guys think of some of the movies, if you've seen any of those. Um, so yeah, thanks for checking me out, you guys. Uh, till next time, you know, as always, stay classy, wait, stay creepy, classy, and a little bit sassy.